This is Mouse Jones for BT Social, and I'm here with... I'm DJ Esco, and I'm pulling up. Hey. <laughs> Appreciate you coming out, man. Appreciate it, How man. you doing? All good. How good, you good. Man? I know Colorblind, Colorblind the album. It's in stores. Yes. So what's the reception been like since this came out? Man, it's been... You know what? I got a better reaction than I thought. You right. know, I've been uh, hard nights of sleep. Wondering how the people gonna react. You work on right. your music so hard, right, right. and no one heard it but you. Right. Cause I, no one works in in the bed. When I make beats, I don't let no one in, in the studio with me. None of that. Yeah. None of those pictures. None yeah. of the Instagram. None, no Instagram nothing. Instagram. Yo, I don't want no opinions. <laughs> I don't, whether it's good or bad. I don't want nothing. I just right. want what's in my brain. So it's real nervous when it's gonna come out to the world because you don't know how they're gonna react to it. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that I'm getting a positive reaction and. Nas blessed me with three verses, mm. which was really, I'm really like, really proud of that that record. Right. You know what I'm saying on the, on the album. How did you get to a space like that where you're just comfortable with whatever I'm about to put out? This is what y'all gonna deal with. We're working with Future, really, where I learned the most to trust myself, okay. because um, I did 56 nights one time mm -hmm. you know, when I came home from prison from Dubai for 56 nights. I made a mixtape called 56 Nights, mm. and it was so personal. Right. I didn't want anyone to be involved with it because it was my story through right. music that no one really could have went through but me. Right. So I didn't want no one's opinion on 56 Nights. So uh, that was the first time I made a, a, a album or mixtape without letting Future hear nothing. Mm. He didn't hear anything. He just heard the finished product. Now 56 Nights, that's the joint that had that March Madness came yeah, in. Yeah, March with. Madness, right. So, so that what was, was you? What, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the craziest yeah, records yeah. to drop. That's I think that might record. be. Like later on when our kids yeah. is older and they talk about hip hop records, March they gonna talk Madness about March Madness. Madness. Yeah. So how you even Yeah, March Madness was like it's one of those records that um when I was in prison, you kinda lose memory because your mind's on different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the music that you know and all the lyrics, you can't remember none of them. Mm -hmm. I couldn't rap a future song for nothing when I was in Dubai prison right, because right. my mind couldn't couldn't come up with it. It was thinking about other things. And at that time, how long had you been working with him? And we had been working with each other seven years now. So mm. it's about to be 10 years now. So this is seven years in. Right. My mind's going blank, but the only thing I could think of was this March Madness, this melody. Mm -hmm. It's the only it's the only music that was in my I could hold on to. Right. So as soon as I got off the plane and we got to the studio, we laid down March Madness. And then when you in a party or you at a concert and that record drop, how did that yeah. feel watching Man. people go crazy? Yeah, it's emotional because yeah. you know where the song stemmed from. Right. You know what I mean? So to see the reaction, and it wasn't a single, like it was just, it was a, it was a song that just touched people. You know what I mean? We didn't push it. It wasn't on the radio. It yeah. wasn't like we made a major video. Yeah. It was a song on a mixtape. Dirty Sprite in my yeah. cup. Yeah, that's you know that's I mean? crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, you know I mean? Yo, that's the first record. Like, I used to look at, I'm from New York, so yeah. you know, it's a little different. But that was one of the first records that I heard and made me do this thing. Like, uh, uh, this is uh, when uh, I started uh, doing that. What do I do? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, you got a mini yeah. rocket song. Yeah. <laughs> you got Rich the Kid. Yeah. You got Doug. OT. Oh, I love Nas, OT. Uh, Ty Dollar. So, right. A Boogie with the hoodie. So, we in New York. Yeah, we in New York. Yeah, Like you said, A Boogie. Nas, yeah. how big is that to have Nas on your record, man? Nas, it was like bridging a gap from mm. for the people that don't know right. that Nas used to be named Nas Esco Bar. Yeah. So it was like going from DJ Esco to Nas right. Esco. Because the newer kids just know him as Nas. The, yeah, the newer right. kids just know him as Nas, but he used to be Nas Esco, Esco Bar. Yeah. I wanted to bridge that gap. I like hip hop history. Mm. So I wanted to bridge that gap featuring what's going on with the young artists, older artists, really ain't. Ain't, ain't 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 putting it together like I think we should be in right, hip hop. Right. We, you know, we, ain't, mm. we ain't getting along like we should be. And I wanted to personally do a song with Nas. We were on a plane one one day coming from San Fran on an early morning flight, and he was sitting behind me. And I turned around and you know, I wanted to talk to the big homie. You know right, what I mean? Right. It's just the real Esco. It's right. the DJ Esco, OG Esco, and he was down to do a, a record. And That's you know, dope. I threw Future on it, so he blessed it. Man. So tell us about this collaboration you got with Diesel. Oh yes, yeah, dope man. Diesel, um, you into the fashion now? Yeah, I kind of come in the fashion. It's more so style for me, you know okay. what I'm saying? Sometimes fashion, I can't even pronounce some of the fashion, you know what I mean? So I, I don't want to say I was a fashion guy, but I'm definitely a style guy. Right. And um, Diesel's I, definitely my style. I had spent a lot of money on Diesel before right. we even connected, and I, um. Before we even reached out, or they reached out, I just, it was just genuine. Like, I always post without even adding them or anything. I was just, just wearing diesel. diesel. That's just what I was wearing. You right. know, I, I'm performing on stage. They had some jogger jeans with, with felt, like, mm -hmm. 
like, like a jogging fabric, pants. Right. Yeah, the fabric was like I could jump around. I'm real energetic on stage, right. so it was like I wasn't worried about my pants. Like right. you know, it was looking right. So yeah, these were right for me. They call you the coolest DJ in the world, yeah. but somehow, some way, we never hear about none of your personal life unless it's something you're telling us, right? right. How do you do that? Like, how are you able to be at this level of fame and not have your business all out on the streets? I know we're in an age where privacy is weird. Right. Because you're supposed to show everybody everything you're right, doing or, right. or you're so, not doing yeah, it. It's almost you know frowned upon. Like, what are you right. like that for? Yeah, so I like to just, um, I like to chime in and let people know things that I think is important with my work. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to personal, I go home and I separate the two. So me. no love in hip hop. Like, yeah, no love in hip hop for me. No LA, yeah, nah, none, none of that. Nah. No season we No high here. profile <laughs> relationships. None? No, nah, man. Speaking of which, you got this 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 dating screening process that I heard about. <laughs> you gotta break this down, because this was some of the most play stuff I ever heard. So like, explain this to the people. So you got this screening process when yes. you date. Yes. So when women shoot they shot at you, yes. You, what is the screening process? Two percent, two percent, like milk, maggot, like milk. <laughs> two percent. If it's a hundred girls in screening, right. two, two making. Ninety-eight ain't making it. They ain't making my cut. Now the homies. <laughs> I gotta be DJ Esco, homie. We homies after this, side. Right? You gotta put me. On. Yo, real fast. Give us your favorite BT moment. This don't count, because this is going to be one of them. Dang, my favorite BET moment. Remember that we had BET? basement was just... The basement was... A, yeah. yeah. You know what? My favorite BET moments actually was Tigger freestyling in there. You like Tigger's actually? Okay. I was always waiting to see what he was, what he was going to do. <laughs> okay. I was like... Because he was bold. Yeah. He was going in there with yeah. legends like... Yeah, my turn. Like, yeah. yo. Yeah. And then sometimes you'd be like, all right, I'm doing too much. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> and they were real freestyles. Yeah, freestyles. Like, yeah, maybe, like, like, I don't know. If I can't yeah, account for nice. everybody else. But his, he was, he was coming off nice. the top. Every day. You got to mess with Tigger, man. But nah, my favorite BET moment, man, it's got to just be, like you say, it's got to be the freestyles. Just yeah. Period. Freestyle, freestyle, whether it was the booth, yeah, whether Freestyle booth. Friday, which yeah, is back now. Friday, like, um, oh, yeah. That's yeah, it's back now. So, yeah, yeah, so it's back. Freestyle Friday with a champion hold it down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah that used to be yeah. a thing. The like, champion used to hold it down. Yeah, I you remember like Freestyle yeah. Friday. We used to be in the lunchroom like, nah, it's right, Freestyle yeah, nah, Friday. Freestyle Friday. It's Freestyle yeah, Friday. Hold, hold, What's hold, up hold. right now? Yeah, no, no, that was real. Yeah, culture. So Before we get out of there, you're a producer. We talking about Freestyle Friday. Yeah. Did you ever like? Were you ever at the lunch table making the grind? Yeah, you? I was. That you guy. can do it right now. I was. If I got you a pen, could you do it right now? Yeah, I might can. Pass, pass, uh, we, we got a pen. I just mm -hmm. seen a pen. Go ahead, let's see it. What are we doing? The pen. Yeah, the grinding beat. Ah, uh, the grind of me. Whoa, 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 damn! I can't get it. I can't get it. Yo, yeah, I got it right here. No. I love the album. No. I, everybody messed with the album. Thank you, man. Colorblind. Appreciate, blind. appreciate right you coming now, out, man. man. For appreciate really. you, man. Support B E T. You know what I'm saying? Pulling up on y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm here, at DJ S. This been Mouse Jones for B T Social. <laughs> My man DJ Esco, he just yeah. pulled up. Come on, man.